Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And today I'm going to put up a 1988 Stratomatic football game between the 1988 Jets and the 1988 Patriots. And the uh, uh, I'll be taking the Jets. The computer will be controlling the Patriots. And I will receive the kickoff just because I want to see what happens, see what kind of team they got. So the Patriots are kicking off to us. And we've got a first and 10 at the 25. So I think I'll start off with a flat pass to the second tight end. And there's going to be a penalty on the play right off the bat. And that's incomplete. And I'm going to accept the penalty. So we have a first and 10 now at our 40. And I'm going to go end run with Freeman McNeil. Oh, they got him in the backfield. My God. All right. So second and 11. We're going to go off tackle. We're going to go off tackle with McNeil. And he gets some good yards there. So we got a third and five after all that. We're going to go flat to the tight end, Schuler, Mickey Schuler. And Mickey Schuler catches it, and he gets some serious yards. Nice. So we got a first and 10 at the New England 32, and I'm going to go off tackle with McNeil. And he gets some good yards. Second and five. I'm going to go line buck with McNeil. And he almost got the first down, but not quite. There's a third and one. I am going to go, let's see, third and one. Let's go draw play with, let's go draw play with Vic. Oh, that's not, not a good play. All right, so we got a, a fourth and two at the New England 24. But you know what? I am going to go for it. I know that's what everybody out there wants to see. So we're going to go flat to tune. Ken O'Brien at quarterback, by the way. Oh, got him in the backfield, and, and we turned it over on downs. Doug Flutie in for the Patriots. I'm going to go balanced to start the game. I always do that and see, kind of feel out what the other team does. And, of course, this guy Stevens is running for a, probably a touchdown. All right, no, he's not. We got him, but we got him after he got some massive yards. So I'm going to look for the run. In fact, I'm going to run and key on Stevens. And uh, they run, but they run with Perryman. So they got a, they got four yards on that, second and six. I'm going to look for the run. Just in general, I'm going to look for the run. And what happened there? Incomplete. So third and six, I'm going to look for the pass. Flutie back to pass. And incomplete. So they're going to have to kick a field goal. I'm going to put in kick block. And the Patriots go up 3 nothing. And they're kicking off to us, and there's already a penalty on the play. Penalty flag. Townsend returning it. Should be a good return. Yeah, I'm going to decline the penalty. I think that's good. That's good yardage. So we've got a fir first and ten 
<laughs> at the 32. I am going to I'm going to put in a long pass to the split end. I'm going to come out and go long. Ken O'Brien, he was good. He was a good quarterback. Tune, did he catch it? First and 10th in New England 43, I would say he did. So uh, we're going to go short to the, to the tight end, Schuler. Incomplete. Second and 10, going to go off tackle with McNeil. Ooh, we only got a couple yards there, I think. Three yards. So we got a third and seven. Third and seven, let's go short to tune. And he gets it for the first down. First and 10 at the New England 28. I'm going to put in line buck with McNeil. And he got some good yards there. Second and four. 6.30 left in the first quarter. Um, I'm going to go looking to Schuler. Schuler's going to get a lot of work today. I love passing to tight ends. That, I think, is incomplete. Yeah, incomplete. So third and four. Let's go short pass to Wesley Walker. And he's going to catch it for a first down. And now we're really deep in New England territory. First and 10 at the New England 12. I'm going to go short again this time to tune. And did he catch it? I guess he did. Off tackle with Hector. And he did not get very many yards. So I got a third and six. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. Third and six, we're gonna pass it, hopefully into the end zone for Walker. Oh, he's gonna get sacked and fumble the ball. Do I jump on it? Uh, I'm gonna fall on the ball. So we got a fourth and 14, now I am gonna kick. Pat Leahy, of course, he was a very good kicker. You know, he's pretty reliable. So the score is tied at three, and we're kicking off to New England. 3.51 left in the first quarter. I'm going to put in a linebacker blitz. And we get him pretty quickly. He got three yards there, second and seven. I'm going to put in the run. And I think they were a false start. So third and three. I'm going to put in the pass. Or no, second and 12, second and 12. So second and 12, he gets, uh, now he's got a third and seven. Now I'm putting in the pass, and I'm going to double team uh, Fryer. No, Morgan. Double team Morgan. And they, it's incomplete. So he's got a fourth and seven. He's got a punt to me. I'm going to put in the punt return. Cell returning it. I'm going to try to catch it and, re and return it, and he only gets like a yard, maybe just a foot. So, a minute 46 left in the first. It's 3 3. I'm going to go short to tune. That's incomplete. Second and 10. I'm going to go short to Walker. Walker. 
Wesley Walker. Looking for Wesley Walker, friend. He's got a first down. So we've got a first and 10 at the 29, our own 29. I'm going to go end run with McNeil. He might get some yards there, and he does. Second and four. He got six yards on that. We're going to go look in to Schuler. There is a penalty. It's a false start on us. So second and nine. Now I'm going to go short to tune. And he gets a first down. Jets just keep on moving the ball. 20 seconds left in the first. I'm going to go look in to Schuler. And that's incomplete. And he threw right into a bunch of Patriots. One second left. Uh, second and ten. I'm going to go off tackle with McNeil. And they weren't, I don't guess they were ready for it. He got four yards, but it's third and six. And we are now starting the second quarter. I'm going to go flat to two. And did he catch it? He did, but we still got a fourth and three. Ah, fourth and three. All right, I'm going to punt. I love to go for fourth downs, but fourth and three that deep in our own end? No. And that's going to be probably on the 20, yeah, on the 25, or on the 20, first and 10 at the 20. I am going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Tatupu. Oh, I can't. All right. I already keyed on the halfback, so they wouldn't let me switch. They wouldn't let me switch. Yes, intercepted. I'm going to try to return it. Try to gain some yards. Hell yeah. All right, so we got the ball deep. We picked off Flutie. Let's go off tackle with the halfback, Hector. I don't even know. I don't remember Hector. I don't even know who that guy is, but he got a lot of yards on that. First and goal from the New England three. Let's go line buck with Vic. I don't remember Vic, to be honest with you. And he got a touchdown. So we're going to be up 10 to 3. Nineteen eight Again, 1988 game between the 1988 Patriots and the 1988 Jets. We are kicking off. And they get it back to the 25. So we're going to put in. Uh, I'm going to I'm still going to put in the run. I'm putting in the general run. No, they're passing. They're getting serious. And the pass to Stanley Morgan for a lot of yards. So. Uh, I'm, I'm still going to look for the run. In fact, I'm going to run and key on Tatupu. No, he's passing again. He duped me. Duped me again. And Stanley Morgan again. I mean, the guy was good. You got to give him that. All right, I'm going to look for the pass now. And now he, he pitches it out and runs. But we stopped him, so... I am going to look for the pass again with 11.28 left in the half. And we did get him third and five. I'm going to look for the pass again. And Flutie's going to run, and we got him. He didn't get the first down. He'll probably kick a field goal. Storoboski is out to um, kick the field goal. And New England gets another field goal, and it is now 10-6. 10-6, he's kicking off. 
9.51 left in the half. Town Cell is going to take it in the end zone, so it's out on the 25. I'm going to go long again. I love going long. I'm going to go long to tune and see if he can complete this. Were they even ready for that? We'll see. I mean, he completed a long pass, and it's incomplete. All right, let's go off tackle with Hector. And he gets some good yards. I don't think they were ready for that. So it's third three. I'm going to go flat. No, I'm going to go draw play. Draw play with McNeil. Oh, they got him. Fourth and three. Are you kidding me? I got a punt. I got to That's too, it's too deep. Much as I love going for fourth downs. If you know me, you know I love it. But I don't think it's really a good idea there. So they've got, New England has the ball first and 10 at their own 29. I'm going to look for the pass this time. Now they run with Perryman, and he gets five yards. I'm still going to pass double team Morgan. He is passing, and he, it's a good bet he's looking for Morgan. And he is. But we're going to intercept it, and I'm going to try to get some yards off of that bad boy. And we do. So we picked off Flutie for a second time this game, and it's 10-6. Our lead, we have the ball at our own 46. Let's go off tackle with Vic. And he gets some good yards. Second and five. Let's do a line buck with Hector. And he gets a first down. So we got a first and 10 at the New England 43. Let's go draw play with Hector. And he's going to get a lot of yards. I don't think New England was ready for that. First and 10 at the New England 28. Let's go flat to the second tight end, Griggs. And I think he caught it. Yes, he did. Second and seven. I'm going to go line buck with Hector. I don't think he's ready for this. And he wasn't. Third and two at the New England 20. I'm going to go look in pass to Schuler. And that's going to be a nice first down completion. First and 10 at the New England 11, 343 left in the half. Let's go short. Let's try to get it right here. Short to tune. Oh, he's going to get sacked. O'Brien got sacked. They were ready for that. Completely ready for that. All right, we're going to go short again. Hopefully they don't let everybody in like they did that time. Short to Wesley Walker. And that's incomplete. He threw that to completely nobody. So we got a third and 16. I'm going to go short to Schuler. And that's incomplete. We're going to have to kick a field goal. And we're going to do that. Pat Leahy, he should make this. And he does. So with 249 left, we're up 13-6. I'm going to guess the 1988 Patriots weren't really that good. He has a first, uh, New England has a first and 10 at their own 37. I'm going to put in the pass, at least a start. And he runs. 
We got him quickly, though. Three-yard pickup. I'm going to put in the pass. He's got. He's going into the um, quick offense, and there is a penalty on the play. And it's incomplete, but it's a first and ten because the penalty was on us. So I'm going to put in the pass. A minute 52 left. And I think we got him in bounds. So second and three. I'm putting in the pass defense. Pass and double team Morgan. And we double teamed him again. And did we pick it off? No, we just knocked it down, I think. All right, third and three. I'm putting in the pass. And he runs it, and he we stopped him. Fourth and one. He's going to go for it, which he probably should. And I'm going to put in the run and key on Stevens. And uh, Flutie picked it up with a bootleg. First and 10 at our 33. I'm going to put in the pass. Now he's got a pass again. Well, he doesn't, and he didn't. And he has uh, he got seven yards on that. But time is not his friend right now. And he passed it to Lynn Dawson. First and goal for New England at our 10-yard line. I'm still going to put in the pass. 22 seconds left. This guy does not realize the time, although maybe he does. I don't know. I think we got him in bounds, though. 15 seconds left. I'm going to put in the run. If he passes, he passes. And he ran it, but we didn't get him. So Reggie Dupard scores a touchdown, and they are going to kick. I'm going to put in the kick block. Looks like we're going to have a tie game at the half, 13 all, and we have to kick off to him. Why did he do an onside kick? I don't even get that. Thirteen, thirteen, in the just the start of the third quarter here. I'm going to put in the run, and now he's passing. But we stopped him pretty quickly. Only one yard pickup. I'm going to put in. I'm going to put in the pass. And come on, let's get him. Let's get him. We well, we did, but he got too many yards. Third and two. I'm going to put in a run. I think he's going to run the ball, and he did. And we got him, and he's going to probably punt. Yep. Jeff Fiegels, remember that guy. I am going to try to catch the ball and run with it, and we get it to the 40. 41, first and 10 at our own 41. I'm going to do a look in to the split end. Incomplete. He's not very good at those look in passes. Let's go flat to the tight end, Schuler. And Schuler catches it and gets a first down. Good. First and 10, New England 46. Let's go short to two. And that's incomplete. Second and 10. I'm going to go short to Schuler, And there's a penalty on the play. Hopefully it's on him. 
I'm going to decline it. We got some good yards on that. So first and 10 at the New England 32. I'm going to go off tackle with McNeil. Oh, they got him quickly. Just got back to the line of scrimmage. Let's go line buck with McNeil. They got him again quickly. Third and ten. Unbelievable. All right, we're going to go short to Wesley Walker. And that's incomplete. Fourth and ten at the New England 32. Leahy, all right. I mean, we'll see if he can make it. He may have. He may have. He did. Pat Leahy, put it up. So it's 16-13. We've got the lead. 9.48 left in the third quarter. Again, we're playing the 1988 Patriots against the 1988 Jets. I'm going to put in a linebacker blitz. And that didn't do much of anything. And Lynn Dawson caught the pass and got some yards. I'm going to put in the pass defense. Non-specific. And we do get um, Stevens. I guess we it's Stevens got him in the backfield. He only got back to the line of scrimmage. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And they run it. And we um, got him before he got a first down. So it's third and four. I'm going to put in balanced. Third and four, I don't know what he's going to do. And he passes it to Irving Fryer for a first down. First and 10 at our 44, I'm going to put in the pass. And he pitches out to Perryman. And he got, got a loss, negative one. I'm going to put in the pass again. And they, we got him quickly again, even though we weren't looking for the run. 16-13, it's third and nine. I'm going to pass double-team Morgan. And I don't know if that was complete. Incomplete. So they are going to punt. And we will put in with the Jets defense is held steady again. And Fiegels with a coffin corner punt that's not going to be all that great. We got a first and 10 at the 19. Let's go off tackle with McNeil. And he gets uh, a few yards, three yards. I'll take him. I'm going to go draw play with McNeil. And he gets some yards. Third and five. All right, we got a third and five. I'm going to go flat to the tight end shooter. Incomplete. God. All right, we got a punt again. Got a 16-13 lead. I don't want to mess with that. 4-10 left in the third quarter. And it's going to come to rest at the, like the 28. First 29. First and 10 at the New England 29 for them. I'm going to run and key on Stevens. We keyed on him and he still got four yards. That dude must have been great. In fact, he was because he had a seven uh, yard per carry average. All right, uh, let's go. I'm just going to go general run. And they do run, and we do stop him just before the first down, third and one. I'm going to put in uh, run. Run and key on Stevens. And he's passing. 
and he completes it to Fryer. First and 10 at the New England 45. I'm going to look for the pass. And that was a smart thing to do. Intercepted, baby. All right, let's return it. Try to gain some yards. And Flutie makes it. It looks like Flutie made the tackle. First and 10 at the New England 41. I'm going to go line buck with McNeil. Oh, my God. They're stopping McNeil left and right. All right, let's go short to two. And that's incomplete. Third and 10 at the 41. I'm going to go uh, short to Wesley Walker. There is a penalty on the play. It's incomplete, and it was on us, so it's 4th and 10, and we are going to punt, and uh, let's see, I'm going to go, yeah, punt, and we're going to go coffin corner punt. Probably not the greatest, but eh, it's at the 15. He's got it first and 10 at his 15. I am going to look for the run. And we got him in the backfield. Nice. Second and 11. I'm going to pass, look for the pass and double team Fryer. I mean, they got so many weapons, so many receiving weapons. It's crazy. But that's going to be incomplete to nobody. Third and 11, I am going to put uh, pass double team Morgan. And it's intercepted again. We're picking off Flutie left and right. And I'm going to try to gain some yards. Yes. So we got a first and 10 at the New England 28, and we're right near the start now of the fourth quarter. And um, I'm going to go flat to the tight end. Incomplete. I'm going to go short to the split end two. And that's incomplete. Matt, I mean, uh, Ken O'Brien, man. All right, uh, third and 10, got to get serious here. I'm going to go flat to the tight end, Schuler. Oh, they intercepted it. That's the first interception I think Ken O'Brien has thrown. So we're still only ahead by three, 13-26 left in the game. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And we're offsides. First and five, I'm going to put in the balanced. I think that was incomplete. So yeah, second and five, I'm going to put in the run and just put in the general run. And they do run the ball and we got them for a loss, I think. So it's third and seven. Let's stop them right here. I'm going to look for the pass. I'm just going to put in a general pass. And that's going to be incomplete. And they're going to punt, maybe? Yep, they will. 12.36 left. we got to hold on to the ball. We have to move the ball a little better than we've been doing. I'm going to try to catch the ball and run with it. And he doesn't get anywhere. So it's first and 10 at our own 37. Let's go off tackle with McNeil. I mean, it doesn't matter what we try. It seems like New England's looking for it. But there they were not. He got like 12 yards on that. Yep. So let's go line buck with McNeil. Now let's go line buck with Vic. And I don't think they were ready for that either. We got five yards. I'm going to go draw play with McNeil. And they got the first down. First and 10, New England 41. 
He thinks I'm going to put it up, but man, I'm not going to do that. McNeil off tackle. I mean, I'm eating clock. 9.50 left in the game. Second and eight. I'm going to go line buck with McNeil. And he gets some good yards, too. Third and one. Third and one. I'm going to go draw play with the quarterback. And he gets the first down. First and 10 at the New England 26. I'm keeping it on the ground. No, yes, yes I am. Off tackle with Vic. And there's going to be a penalty on the play, and it's on us. First and 20 at the New England 36. So now I'm not going to do that. I'll go flat to the split end. And it's incomplete. Second and 20. I'm going to go short to Walker. He's looking, and it's intercepted. Unbelievable. I mean, really, it's not that unbelievable. So New England has it first and 10 at the 36, 748 left. I'm going to look for the run, but pretty soon he's going to have to consider passing. That's going to be incomplete, though, thank God, because Flutie is inaccurate. I'm, you know what, I'm looking run again. Yeah, I'm, I'm convinced that he has to run the ball to get yards. And he does run the ball, and he gets only two out of that. Now I'm putting in the pass defense. And he runs with Flutie, and Flutie is sacked. So is he going to punt? Yes, he is. Questionable if he has that much time. I mean, he, in real life, in real football, yes, you would have that much time. But in Stratomatic, it doesn't work like that, I don't think. And Townsell gets a good return, too. First and 10 at the New York 41. I'm going to do a look in to Schuler. And he does catch it and gets the first down. I'm going to do an off tackle with McNeil. And he is tackled for a loss, no less. I'm going to do end run with McNeil. I mean, we're just going to eat the clock and see what happens. And he gets killed in the backfield, third and 14. Well, now we're going to now we're going to put it up short to the split end. Incomplete. Fourth and 14 at the New York 48. Obviously, this is a uh, no-brainer punt situation. Fryer, and we get him quickly. So they got a first and 10 at the 18 with 407 left, and I'm putting in the pass defense. If he wants to run, he can run. Reggie Dupard, and we got him, I think, in bounds. So it's a second and eight. I'm going to put in the pass. And they they do a quick pass, and they get a first down. First and 10 at, the tw at their 28. I'm going to put in the pass defense. I'm looking pass. I'm on pass all the way. I think we got him in bounds. Second and six. At his 32, I'm putting in the pass. And he runs the ball and he gets the first down, but he doesn't really have enough time to be doing this. So we're gonna put in the pass. Of course, we only have a field goal lead, so he just has to get into field goal range, really. Second and 10 at the 38, I'm putting in the pass. He runs. He runs the ball, and he gets it, I think, out of bounds, so he's got a third and five. We're going to look for the pass. And it's incomplete. Fourth and five. He knows he's got to go for it. 
I'm putting in the pass. And it is incomplete. And we're going to take over on downs, and that should be it. We're ahead by three. We got it first and 10 at the New England 43. And I'm going to go off tackle with McNeil. And he gets two yards. We're going to go line buck with Vic. Even if he doesn't get yards, at least we're eating the clock. It's a minute 15 left, third and nine. I'm going to go flat pass. Where's the flat pass? Flat pass to the flanker walk. He's back. He's looking, and it's incomplete. Fourth and nine at the 42. Obviously, we're going to punt, and we're going to obviously do a coffin corner. He's got a minute seven left. And he only has one timeout remaining. And we nailed him deep to the five. First and ten at the five. I'm looking past. I mean, there's nothing, no reason to look anything else. And we, and well, he, I guess he got out of bounds. We're going to look for the pass. 52 seconds left. And he, oh my God, he passed to Russ Francis. First time I've seen him, his number called today. First and 10 at the 52. And at the, well, 52 seconds left. First and 10 at the New England 33. I'm looking for the pass, and I'm going to double team Morgan. And he passes to Fryer, but I think it's incomplete. Second and 10 at the 33, 37 seconds left. Pass, and I'm going to double team Fryer this time. I mean, it's so hard because any one of those three guys is a great receiver. All right, well, we got 30 seconds left. We're ahead by three. He's got a first and 10 at his 48. I'm looking for the pass. I'm going to double team Francis. And it was to him. I double teamed the right guy at least. Second and 10, 22 seconds left. I'm just putting in a general pass. And what it, oh, he's passing, and but it's incomplete. Third and 10 at the New England 48. I'm looking for the pass. Set up for the pass, 100%. And it's intercepted. And I'm going to try to gain some yards because that's just how I roll. First and 10, eight seconds left. Now, with no doubt, we won the game. I'm going to line bucket with Vic. Oh, we fumbled. Maybe not. Hold on, hold the presses. Oh wait, we still got it, so all right. And that's it, the game is over. And let's look at the box score. Let's see. So we will look at the box score here. Ken O'Brien was 14 of 35 for 146 yards and a 29 passer rating. But Flutie was terrible too. 12 for 33, 167 yards and a 13.9 passer rating. McNeil had 21 carries for 62 yards. Roger Vick had 6 for 11. Johnny Hector had 6 for 48 and O'Brien had 1 for 6. For New England, John Stevens had 13 carries for 79 yards. Reggie Dupard had seven for 26. Bob Perryman had six for 23 and Flutie had three for 12. And so there you go, that's your final score. The 1988 Jets beating the 1988 Patriots 16 to three. 
And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.